sliding down a fire pole with laundry to Gary making tacos in the kitchen. I just think that that's um, a great space for comedy to kind of emerge. What up, guys? I love Hi. Ghostbusters. An empire. It is incredible. It, it made me feel like I was a kid again watching these films because it had this sense of nostalgia being back in New York fighting ghosts, but also something that was completely fresh and new. Carrie, what were some of the themes that jumped out at you uh, that you connected with with Jason and Gil's uh, story for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Well, I love that Jason and Gil have continued to focus on the family. Certainly the central theme for us is about, you know, can Paul Rudd be a stepdad? and how Gary Gruberson's fitting into the world. I love that Callie's problems, even as she's ghost busting, are real world problems. She's a single mom, it's hard to make ends meet. They're living in New York. She's got teenagers. That always feels really real and grounded to me. And then one of the things I think is especially fun for the fans, it's outside of theme, is when we introduce new technology for the fan base. And so for me, you know, piloting the drone trap, getting to wear a proton pack at all, all that stuff is always really thrilling for us to share too. It's incredible. Now, Paul, as a stepdad, I completely related to Gary as a character in this film. Uh, there's a fine line between being a kid's best friend and being an authority figure. Can you talk about Gary's struggle to balance the relationship with the kids? Sure. Well, he's only in, a, I mean, really a couple of years of knowing them. He's moved across the country with them, but he's not officially a stepdad. I mean, we're not married um, and it's tough to uh, know how far you're supposed to go as a disciplinarian, as a, an authority figure, as a friend. So I know I spoke, I, not having this experience personally, but I certainly talked with people involved in the film who have, and they say it's tough, you know, and, and it makes sense. How harsh should I be in this situation? What am I supposed to do? And I think Gary the, is just figuring that out, figuring that out and being helped along by uh, Carrie's <laughs> character, Callie. Good job. Amazing. I'm glad I got that in the right <laughs> yeah. order, by the right. way. <laughs> the Spanglers now have a place that they can, they can call home, the iconic Ghostbusters firehouse. Uh, how does living at the firehouse and balancing the family's work life affect the Spanglers in uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Mm. You know, it's almost like any household. There's a real, I, I think that a lot of comedy comes out of that juxtaposition. I love sliding down a fire pole with laundry to Gary making tacos in the kitchen. I just think that that's um, a great space for comedy to kind of emerge. And I love that, you know, you just see Callie on the couch on her phone. You know, we just really inhabit that space. And it's not totally ours. It's kind of precarious. You know, we're, we're there sort of at the, at the grace of, of Winston Zeddemore, who's kind of continuing the legacy of the Ghostbusters, continuing the research. And we certainly don't own that firehouse. <laughs> so uh, we could easily be out on our butts, which is, you know, a part of the plot actually. Right? Now, uh, Paul, Gil Keenan steps into the director's chair for the first time in the franchise. Uh, what did his directing style add to Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Well, a real enthusiasm. I mean, he's a, a lover of the franchise. He co-wrote the script with Jason and he also, you know, co-wrote Afterlife. So he certainly has a knowledge of it. He's kind of lived it for many, many years. And he, you know, it's, uh, it's <clears throat> nice when the guy who's steering the ship is enthusiastic, knowledgeable, and you feel like you can trust him. And uh, I think, and we all did. And you know, he's he's a he's a great guy. He's a, a great writer. He's a great director. And uh, it was nice just kind of hanging out with him every day on set. Incredible. Now, Kerry, given the rich history of the Ghostbusters franchise, what aspects of Callie's character were you most excited to explore in Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire? In some ways, I guess she's kind of a new archetype to bring to the story. We haven't had the, the single mom vibe yet, and so I'm happy to represent that for all the all the uh, moms out there. I feel like she's a really real mom, like we were talking about. The circumstances she's struggling with are really real. And I love that she's maybe not like the best mom. I think in movies, sometimes that can be, you know, glossed over, or you can sort of see the mom with rose colored glasses. And in this case, she's a really flawed person. And I always appreciate when I see flawed people in a movie. And I think, um, you know, Callie brings her haplessness to the, to the story. And I, I think that's fun. Well, look, you guys are amazing in this film. I love Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. It's such a fantastic film. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot.